Hi there, Reject Nation. I'm Greg Alba. I'm John Humphrey. We just got back from Dan and Alyssa's wedding. Go follow them on YouTube. It'll be uh, their wedding gift from <laughs> you guys. The Reject Nation. Guided from us. Wow, seven hours on the road and we're immediately hopping into this because apparently E3's going on right now. From 7 and, to 2077. Uh, everyone's like, Keanu Reeves is in this. So we're going to watch the uh, game. We're going to watch the official trailer. We watched the whole, like, full-on gameplay trailer last year. That was awesome. That was so cool. That was awesome. <laughs> Samurai. conference video. Cool. Oh shit, he yeah. showed up. Oh damn. He's actually in the flesh. Hell yeah! <laughs> Cyberpunk wick. It does feel like you're there. Here in this moment. Man, he's having just a hell of a year, huh? No, he's on top of the world. <laughs> yeah. All right. 
I had no idea he was going to be in this game. <laughs> Everyone's like, you're Project Red. Cyborg Red. Project Red. Project Red. Project Red. Project Red. The guys from CD Project Red approached me and asked me to be a part of their new project, Cyberpunk 2077. They were going on and on about how they'd create this vast open world with a branching storyline, how you'd be able to customize your character through in-game choices. And it's not something I knew before, but I was excited by it. And I'm always drawn to fascinating stories. <laughs> Cyberpunk <laughs> is set in the metropolis of the future where body modification has become an obsession. You play as an outlaw, an enhanced mercenary working in the sleazy underbelly of the city. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sleazy underbelly. Right. Yeah. Hey, let me tell you. Crime. <laughs> The feeling of, of being there, of walking the streets of the future, cool. is really going to be breathtaking. <laughs> you are breathtaking. <laughs> You're all breathtaking. Odd 80, you're breathtaking. <laughs> I guess I'm going to finish this, so tell me. Do you guys want to know um, when there's uh, when it, the release date? <laughs> Seems like he didn't know. Yeah. yeah. What am I supposed to say? Right. Then check this out. <laughs> He's got such yeah. funny body language. No. Whoa, hey, easy. Mr. Hansen, am I right for the job? Wow. Whoa. You have gone through to the other side. Let's do this. Oh. April 16, 2020, baby. Woo! Look out. Awesome. It wasn't until he showed up on stage where it really hit me. Keanu Reeves is the perfect person to be in he cyberpunk. Totally <laughs> Especially, you know, like there's such a strong association with some sci-fi work. Like Johnny Mnemonic. That's where everyone's mind goes oh, with yeah. Keanu Reeves and sci-fi. Johnny Mnemonic. And a, and a walk in the clouds. A walk in the clouds. Mm -hmm. Speed 2 cruise control. Mm -hmm. um, Constantine. No, I mean, obviously his association with the Matrix yeah. and having that kind of awesome, crazy storytelling world that really dives into the like one of the best sci-fi films of all time plus you know? all the john wick tactical like gun yes action, it's you know? like, like it's the perfect <laughs> game to get keanu yeah. reeves for yeah and man. it's just so cool to see him put in here he and, was born to have a robot arm <laughs> yeah i want to know more about who is actually playing in the game because this game looks great i mean we love the gameplay trailer that yeah. we saw from last year my one like this is like the biggest of nitpicks that anyone could conjure up this is almost as if i'm looking for something to nitpick the faces look so photorealistic it, it looks incredibly realistic but there are times where they're talking where the expression doesn't fully look there yeah. in the way how I'm like I feel like your eyebrows or eyes or mouth should be open or moving a little more there Those but the hardest they parts. still <laughs> got a year before it comes out yeah. to fine tune that other than that this whole game looks great the addition of Keanu who's just having the most epic year John Wick 3 is the highest grossing one in the franchise it pretty much happened like that in one week <laughs> uh, Toy Story 4 the first reactions have come out and it seems like the primary praise is going not just to the storytelling but Keanu Reeves in that movie um, always be my maybe that's, he's not if you guys haven't <laughs> just at least seen that scene that's going around on social media it's hysterical yeah. and now he's stolen the show at E3 <laughs> and also this year Bill and Ted 3 was announced and every like officially and everyone got jacked up so this is Keanu's year yeah I, and I had no idea he was I didn't hear any reports about he's gonna be in cyberpunk no. or be involved in cyberpunk at all and I like that he led with the angle of he wasn't trying to BS anything it didn't even sound like he really knew 
knew much about video games, how he led with the angle of storytelling. Yeah, because good stories. For yeah. someone like me who picks up games like throughout the month, <laughs> but I take a long time to play games because I'm always choosing the storyline games. Yeah. So uh, talking about like the world building and him wanting to do it because of story purposes. I'm like, all right, well, if Keanu is like excited for that, I, you know, he, <laughs> that makes me excited for this too. Honestly, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's been a while since I've gotten to game avidly, but I think 2020, I'm going to set a goal. Like when, by the time this game comes out, I'm going to be ready to jump in. It's cool there's no pressure because it's not a franchise. Yeah, you know, It's totally. the first one, so you can just jump into this. And this feels yeah. like something, like it's so cool that there's something new out there that it seems like a lot of people are going to be eager to jump in on together, sure. you know, because also it does have that second life type thing where you can make your own persona yes. and upgrade it and really live it yes. through the games. I hope this comes out in a VR format yeah. because to be able to look around at it, I, I got to imagine it'll be insane. I hope so too. Yeah. I'm going to want to go to sleep soon since I haven't slept. <laughs> Guys, make sure to go check out Dan and Alyssa's uh, channel. Go uh, send them send them some love. Tell them that congratulations are on social media or something like that. Keep an eye out for their Twitch streamed wedding. Subscribe to The Real Rejects. Click that notification bell. Hit the like button if you like this video. And uh, we'll cover some more of E3 trailers. Keep a lookout. We're gonna, the ones that we're mainly interested in.